I'm Mr. O, here with another oh, wow. moment at the Children's Museum of Houston. We're having a brain break in our Sights and Scene exhibit sponsored by Oxy and the William Stamps Ferris Fund. I have this cool new flashlight, check it out. It has all the primary colors of light. It has blue, and it has green, and it has red. What do you mean those aren't the primary colors? Oh, I understand the confusion. You're thinking of the primary colors of pigments, and I'm talking about the primary colors of light. Let's shed a little light on this confusion. Remember, science is fun, but it can also be dangerous. So always have a responsible adult helping you. Often when we talk about mixing colors, we're talking about mixing pigments, like dyes, like food coloring. We're usually taught there are three primary colors for pigments, red, blue, and yellow. They're called primary colors because they can't be made by mixing other colors. Rather, they're mixed to create other colors, secondary colors. You can do this at home using some cups of water and a few drops of food coloring in each. Mixing red and blue makes purple. Mixing red and yellow makes orange. And mixing blue and yellow makes green. But these aren't the real primary colors of pigments. The real primary colors for pigments are magenta, yellow, and cyan. Need proof? Take a look at the three colors of ink in a color printer. To make all the colors that the printer produces, it has three primary colors, magenta, yellow, and cyan. Need more proof? Well, let's take a look at what these three primary colors make as their secondary colors. If we mix yellow and cyan, we get green. If we mix yellow and magenta, we get red. And if we mix magenta and cyan, we get blue. So that means we can, in fact, get red and blue by mixing other colors. So they're not primary colors. So why this confusion? Well, more than likely, someone thought about trying to simplify it by using the colors of the rainbow, and it stuck. Now, let's go back and take a look at the primary colors of light again. At the very beginning, I mentioned that the three primary colors of light are red, blue, and green. So what happens if we mix them together? What secondary colors do they form? Well, you can find out at home if you have colored lights, but just in case you don't. If we mix red and green, we get yellow. If we mix red and blue, we get magenta. And if we mix blue and green, we get cyan. In fact, if you magnify screens like computer monitors, smartphones, tablets, and TVs, you'll see that they're actually made up of lots of very small red, green, and blue lights. Those three colors make all the colors that you see on screens. Did you catch that relationship, by the way? The three primary colors of light when mixed make the three primary colors of pigments. And the three primary colors of pigments when mixed make the three primary colors of light. How's that for breaking your brain? What do you mean that's not what you meant by a brain break? This has been another Oh Wow Moment from the Children's Museum of Houston. We hope your mind can come out to play.